Well, I'm a fan of the games, and more than that, a huge fan of science fiction movies, but fun, big, crazy sci-fi movies. Movies like Fifth Element and fun action films like Raiders of the Lost Ark and wild movies like Escape from New York. So um, to have the chance to kind of blend all of those elements, a little bit of Mad Max, a little bit of Star Wars into this fantastic universe, I, I jumped at the chance. Well, one of the first things I did was I talked to Randy Pitchford, the game creator, and I said, I want to do an adaptation. I want to make sure that we're in the world of Borderlands, but first and foremost, we're making a great movie. And if people play the game, they're going to love it, but if you've never played the game, you're going to love the movie. So as someone who knew the game but wasn't intimately familiar, I could focus on making a great movie, and Randy was with me every step of the way. I wanted to make sure I wasn't breaking the rules of the universe, but if I wanted to adapt something, then he was like, oh, go for it. The games are the games and the movies are the movies. So he really gave me the freedom to make a great film. And if I wanted to change things and adapt them, it wasn't a problem. I was most excited to obviously work with Kate Blanchett. I mean, she's incredible. And we had the, mo we had the best time working together on House of the Clock and its Walls. Um, so as soon as I had Kate, I knew I had a chance to get Jack Black to play Claptrap. Once you have Kate Blanchett, it's easy, because Kate comes on and everybody wants to be in scenes with Kate. So then Jamie Lee Curtis signed up, Kevin Hart, and then Florian Montenau, and then, you know, just the discovery of this century, which was Ariana Greenblatt, um, pre-Barbie. So she, she came and she just rocked it in the audition, and I knew she was going to be perfect. And, uh, you know, as soon as we saw them all together, we all just started laughing, and that's always a great sign. I wanted something that was beautiful and wild and fun and colorful, a mix of Fifth Element, a mix of Barbarella, a mix of Mad Max, a mix of Star Wars, Escape from New York. I wanted something that was visually spectacular and fun from start to finish. I wanted the tone of a movie. I didn't want to make the you know, heavy, oppressive, serious sci-fi. I wanted you just grab your bucket of popcorn and have a great time at the movies. The movie is loaded with Easter eggs. We made sure we did that. And Randy Pitchford told me every time you put a number or a code or a number on a door, it's going to have some significance. So we really, really work closely with Gearbox and our art department to lay Easter eggs in and certain characters, references, clothing. If you play the games, you'll see them all over. Every scene we looked at it and go, where can we lay in Easter eggs? I love Easter eggs. So we had a great time with that.